Hello and welcome to this DrawScript tutorial where today I'm going to go through with you the Android application and show you what's, uh, what functions you can expect, what you can do with it and how to use it. So let's get started. Uh, you can download DrawScript for free from the Play Store or drawscript.org and when you start it up for the first time you'll notice it comes with a sample application which you can simply run like any other native app um, just by pressing single tap and it, you see it runs. A uh, sample app comes with an image and a little bit of text and to exit the app you just press on the back button of your phone and to edit the code of the app to see the code just long press brings up a action menu and we need the edit button here and it brings up the code editor now to help you move around the code you can use this uh, feature called a yo-yo and it makes it just a little bit easier to navigate your way around and it's very simple to edit some text or edit code let's just have a go now we'll change the content of this hello world to say something called hello Bob and at the bottom of the screen you'll see this action bar here and on there is a play button and let's just press that to run your app and here we go so we've changed now hello world to hello Bob and that is as simple as that to run your applications also on the action bar you'll see a few other um, functions one of them is to uh, redo or undo your um, work and another one is a access the assets folder so you can press that and it brings up a list of images which you have uh, in your asset folder and you can also add new new images there and there is also a debug option here if you run if you press this it will run the app but add a translucent cover over the app where it will display any error messages or warnings you might have you can also write to that using console.log or console.error You'll also notice just above the action bar is this um, other box here with a magnifying glass. Pressing that will allow you to do a search and replace it through your code. And next to it, you'll see some contextual help. Now, if you this changes when you uh, move around your code or um, as you type in various things. As you can see, set margins or add text. And what it shows you is the various um, variables required, attributes, but uh, if you tap it, it will go to the content, to the actual help. So if we just press this, it loads the help of that particular method. And to go back, return to the code editor, you just press this button at the top, top there, and it takes you back to the uh, code editor. Now we've uh, run a sample app, let's create our own app. Let me just show you how easy it is to create an app. So you press the back to exit the code editor, back to the app launcher screen. And you need to press this button up here, which is uh, open to menu. And at the top of this menu is a new button. So we just press new and it brings up a dialogue to for our um, new app. So let's type in a name for our app, my first app. We're going to choose native. You can either choose native or HTML. HTML is where you control the UI yourself with HTML, CSS and JavaScript. And you can still access the DrawScript uh, application um, layer, um, but you control the UI um, yourself. The nat by choosing native, we allow uh, DrawScript to uh, control that for us. Next option is the template, application template. For this, um, we're going to choose simple, but as you can see, there are a number of others uh, you can choose just to help you get started. Now um, you can see what happens if you run this, it's a single tap and there you are, an application is created for you with just um, hello. And to edit the app, just like any other, you just long press, bring up the action menu, press edit and we see the code editor here. And to just make a quick change to the app, we'll just change, create a hello to hello world, changed it and let's uh, press run. And there we go. Hello is now hello world. Now let's leave the code editor for a moment and just go back to the app launcher screen. You see the app icon is a default Android one. Now if you want to change that icon to a custom one, 
You can do that by long pressing your application. We have to go back into the edit code editor window and you have to um, open up an assets. And if you go into uh, your assets folder, find an image that you want, long press over the image. We need to rename this PNG file. And remember, it has to be uh, a PNG for this to work. And we have to call it the same as, it has to be the same as the name of your app. So for example, we called our app My First App. Now forget the spaces for now, just showing you how to do it. And if you exit the thing, you'll see the app icon has changed. Now if you want to create a shortcut to the home screen of your app, you can also do that by long pressing to bring up the action menu. And you'll see this option called Create Shortcut. And if you press that, add it to home screen, press add. Now, if you go to your home screen, you'll now see your new um, app with your new app icon. So if we just uh, remove this and go back in, it doesn't remove the app from within JavaScript, just the shortcut on the home screen. Now, though you can um, edit and run your apps anywhere in the world inside this um, app. There is another way to create and maintain apps using your um, web browser and through Droid Script. And to do that, you just press this button here. It brings up a um, dialog box with an IP address. And if you load up your web browser, and you can type in the IP address that's uh, shown, it brings up a complete integrated development environment where you're able to create, edit, uh, modify, delete apps. You have access to the assets folder here and they have a lot more functionality. Um, it's all built in and you have your docs over to the right. Uh, now I'm not going to go through this tutorial, won't um, touch on this um, in, in detail. It's um, uh, we have another tutorial for that, so please have a look at that. But um, if you prefer using a keyboard and a mouse, this is a uh, one option for you. You can have multiple tabs as well running the same um, in the same project or more different projects within um, your uh, application. Going back to our um, device, if we uh, press remove the dialog here. Um, Droidscript comes with a lot of uh, built-in samples. And to access those, you can press this rocket button on the top right corner. And you get a list of uh, samples, which are all fully blown applications, all built and ready to go. So if we just press um, controls dark, for example, that gives you a sort of kitchen sink of lots of different controls available. And to run any of these samples, you just press the play button here and you see then what this uh, application does. And then to uh, exit, you just press the back button and you can copy this code, you can put it into your application and you can do whatever you want with it. And there's there are plenty of application uh, samples about and they do change as well, they get more samples bring in as different versions um, change. There is also a store option here. This is These are applications built by other users. And this is regularly updated and it's quite active now. And you can uh, add your own to this list via the, uh, the DroidScript website. You can find out more information on there. And these are, these are created by, by users for other users. To close down this store and the sample, you just press the button again. Comes back to the home screen now. Uh, there is a lot of active documentation that comes with DrawScript as well built in. To access it, you just press this button here. And as you can see, there's lots of um, resources 
and one of them being reference now that is a reference guide for all of the different methods if you for example let's um, click on add layout it comes with um, good descriptions and there's always an example now with the um, examples that you see you can uh, all run any example itself and it runs it as a normal app so then you can see for yourself what the um, sample does and what the actual method does and then you can copy the or the code and run it into your own um, into your own app so it's very useful for that uh, if we go back you know, back to home and these are all links off to different parts of the thing this is draw script tutorials this is really quite a handy um, place to visit just for getting the uh, getting started now if you close documentation go back to the start uh, droid script also comes with um, lots of plugins now there are lots of plugins available and if you just click on plugins here you'll see the list um, available here for premium users these are all included for non-premium users you will uh, have to pay for some of the um, plugins independently you'll see them um, the details on the buttons but there are quite a few plugins available as you can see and the list does actively um, change quite regularly so keep an eye on that and uh, there are many creators that can uh, help you access various um, functions or uh, devices like Bluetooth for example now one more thing to show you is a way of sharing your application to other users if you want to um, if you need help with it or uh, you just want to share your app and to do that you long press over the app brings up the action menu and there's an option here called share SPK and clicking that will uh, open up the general share uh, your share dialog on your, on your phone and so you can share the SPK of email or WhatsApp or um, other other um, applications and as long as the other user has uh, droid script installed they can then open that um, SPK and edit and run the uh, file and just before we go there is one more thing we need to show you and that is um, in our about button um, option here menu and that is the links to our discussion group which is very active on, um, online there is also um, a Twitter feed and Facebook and is linked to privacy policy and licenses and that's the end of this demo if you'd like to see more then um, take a look at the other tutorials that we have uh, coming up and in the meantime, just have a play with it, have a go and see what you can come up with and try and uh, build some apps and share them with uh, other users. So go, go and uh, have fun. Until next time, goodbye.